the new Prius finally was announced on Wednesday uh, in Tokyo and in the LA Auto Show. And, you know, there's been lots of speculation about it, so I've been kind of curious. Yep. Um, ultimately, though, you know, the Prius, there are actually Prius fans out there who are saying, wow, it's great, look at this. Mm-hmm. And uh, what do you think? I've got a picture of it up. Do you, um, do you think? Well, I love this, the styling. Like it, it, the, the, the design road that Toyota has been going down the last few years, I just do not like. Mm-hmm. And they reached a kind of an apex with that excessively angular design of the, the Prius. So I think they had kind of no choice, but to go in the opposite direction. But it almost looks to me like they had designed it to be an EV. Like EVs are often designed for aerodynamics. That's right. That's right. Yeah, they did. They, so, they cut down the roof line for that very reason, because there was no other way yeah. to gain efficiency. So it's just a huge shame it's not a full EV, because it looks like it could be. It looks a lot like the original Hyundai Ionic, mm-hmm. um, which was a very aerodynamic shape. So I I love the direction they're going. Like this is a huge improvement in terms of the style, I think of the the Prius. Um, And, but just a shame it's, it's not fully electric. It really, it just feels like that would have been the correct move. The Prius has been around a long time. Yeah. You just, you know, you obviously you refresh the models every few years and it's totally time for a full EV refresh. And that's not what this is. Now, some people make the argument that at the moment in time that we're in right now, that uh, a plug-in hybrid, which there's a version of that, right? There's a plug-in version yeah. of the Prius. Some people think mm-hmm. all, they all plug in. They don't. They're basically no. just a hybrid powertrain, which utilizes an electric motor to be more efficient, but it's all gas doing the, the, mm-hmm. the energy. So uh, the, the plug-in version has gone up in range from yeah. pretty significantly. Basically, the energy density of the batteries have gone up. It's taking up the same space to go from, uh, I think it was 40 kilometers to now 60 kilometers or 40 miles now of EV range, which is a lot more usable. Oh, yeah. and, and in Canada, uh, we would get the full $5,000 off. So that means, and you've heard it here first because no one else has said this, the plug-in Prius Prime PHEV will be cheaper than the normal Prius. So why would anyone buy a Prius mm-hmm. in Canada? Because the rebate This is the situation that was like that in, in uh, California. Yeah. When the Prius Prime first, it was, there was no point. I mean, you, if you're bu- even if you don't care about plugging it in, why would you buy it? Because you have to resell it. You have to have a, a yeah. residual value. You might as well have the one that costs more. Uh, so it makes no sense for them to sell anything but the Prius Prime in Canada. Um, and they also went with more horsepower, which I thought was a bit weird. Like it's they... yeah, they really bumped up the horsepower finally. <laughs> yeah, after twenty years and, of being something... mocked by truckers, by bumper People stickers on truckers. Yeah, yeah. So it's a, quite a lot faster now, um, but of course that cuts into the miles per gallon a little bit, but not not too bad. Yeah, overall it, though, you know, I think it's um, it could be more efficient than it is, but the, I mean, at the zero to sixty is a lot faster. Way faster, yeah, um, yeah, and that's that's fun, but no. Here's a here's my big problem with it, and that is that it sits lower, mm-hmm. and then I, you know, my wife has a Prius. If you're new to the show, and that's her work car that she has to have, um, you know, inspected constantly because it's used for work. She takes um, social work clients around in it, and you know, we have the Leaf as the other car, and the Leaf is actually so much more comfortable. For an aging man like myself, it's it's <laughs> just it rides so much higher that it is. Um, I don't know how this compares to the Model Three, but I do know that the Model Three is kind of low. Um, it's a bit low, yeah. And I'm having trouble getting into the Prius. I I hate getting in another Prius, and it would be like even my head. I have to like somehow. I'm only six feet. I mean, people yeah. are taller than six feet now. This seems like they're not making it for old people. Like they should be yeah. making it for old people because young people aren't going to buy this, are they? Um, so no. I'm going to have less headroom and a lower seating position. It's going to be harder to get my fat ass in and out of that thing. They're not going to even talk about pricing or announcing it until, you know, sometime in the first half of next year, as far as the prime is concerned. So that doesn't mm-hmm. do me. I need a car now, Brian. 